Hi my honeys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be showing you guys the new translucent powder from Huda Beauty. This is their Cherry Blossom Cake loose baking and setting powder so i am so excited you guys to play with this because well obviously i've already played with it because you guys are watching the intro i'm really excited to just show you guys how to use this if you haven't used any of huda beauty's translucent powders um i don't think i've played with one either if i have here on my channel please correct me because i don't remember ever using a translucent powder from huda beauty um but i I'm so excited to show you guys like the results, to be honest. <laughs> so this powder, you guys, does retail for $34. Unfortunately, it is currently sold out on Huda Beauty as well as on Sephora.com. I am so sorry. When this first launched, I actually bought it on Instagram. You know how you can shop on Instagram now. I have all of my information saved there, which is so bad, but I do. And I bought it. <laughs> and I was so excited to play with it because it just, it's pink. I love pink. Who doesn't love pink? And anything that says baking on it, I am all over it because I do have combo to oily, so I love baking my face. That really helps my makeup last all day. With that said, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so I did apply my foundation and now I went in with my concealer. I'm going to just blend it out with the same sponge that I used to apply my foundation. <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and blend this out. Concealer that I'm going into is the Born This Way um, Multi Sculpting Concealer from Too Faced in the shade Almond. So pretty much the way that I'm doing my makeup is just the way that I always normally do it, like for a beat. <laughs> so I really wanna apply this powder and see how it performs. Of course, I won't be wearing it out because obviously it is Wednesday. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I just wanna see what it looks like and show you guys how to apply it. All right, so with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my cream contour next and I will be right back. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go in like this into this little sponge that I got from um, Amazon. And so I just put it on here and it looks so so pretty i'm just going to apply it underneath here and we are supposed to um, bake with it for a few minutes three to five minutes so i'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and then ooh, it does have a little bit of fragrance it smells like roses <laughs> so you guys can see in here too um hopefully you guys can see that um, I'll probably dim the lighting here for you guys, but it has like a little bit of a cushion I'm also gonna apply you guys like on my forehead and On the chin area because this is like what I normally do whenever I set my makeup I'm also gonna cut my cheeks with it. I think it's so cute that it's pink or that it's yeah, it is pink <laughs> I've heard so many good things about um, Huda Beauty's translucent powders. So I'm really excited. I don't think I've played with her powder, so maybe I have, I don't remember. So I'm gonna let it sit there for about two to three minutes because that's what it says to normally bake. And then I will come back here with you guys to dust it off. All right guys, so I'm gonna dust this off. I'm just gonna dust one side so that we can see. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks so freaking airbrushed. What? Okay, this is wild. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is the side, obviously. And then there's this side with the powder still baking, uh, which I should be taking it off pretty soon here. Um, but I just want you guys to see how smooth my skin looks. Let me zoom you guys in. Like, look how smooth it looks. That is wild, wow. I'm in shock. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dust off this side and then I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup, you guys, off camera and then I'll be right back and then I'm gonna be taking some selfies because I do wanna test it to see if there's any flashback. So give me a sec, let me dust this off and then yeah, we'll finish the video. All right, guys, so I am back and I went ahead and just finished off the rest of my makeup behind cameras. So I just wanna point out, you guys, really quick that my skin 
looks and feels airbrushed <laughs> so also like i mentioned earlier this is my first time i think ever using a huda beauty translucent powder i have actually heard really good things about these powders but i don't think i have played with it correct me if you've seen me play with these before um but i'm really really loving this powder to be honest like my skin looks really soft and i'm gonna be taking a selfie right now so you guys can see if there's any flashback which i actually want to know too if there's any flashback but i will say that the powder is super fine um and i did also notice that um i am combo to oily um, but it didn't settle into any fine lines like sometimes when I do go in with my Laura Mercier or my airspun powder And if it's baking for too long sometimes it will sit on my nose like where it, it shows like a white cast um, And this one did not do that like it actually when I dusted the powder off it completely came off um, And normally sometimes with my other powders I have to go in with a press powder sometimes to like press it so that way I can remove the remaining powder that's still stuck on my nose or any part of my face. I hope that's all making sense. Um, but this one is so fine that when I blended it away with my brush, it completely came off. And I'm just really loving the way that my skin is looking right now. Like it looks so soft and airbrushed. Like I am actually really impressed with this powder. Um, even though it is like more on the pink undertone, I've heard a lot of good things about the Givenchy. I'll post a picture here for you guys. I've heard so many good things about that powder because it, it like color corrects at the same time as it's setting your makeup. Normally our dark under eyes are normally a blue shade. Um, so I love that this is pink and that can be used for that. I'm gonna go ahead and take a selfie so I can see if there's any flashback because that's super important also when it comes to a translucent powder. That can literally be like so devastating. Like the powder looks so beautiful, but when you take a picture, let's see because that is huge for me and i'm gonna go ahead and turn on my flash and then i'll take one without all right guys so there is no flashback whatsoever and normally what i mean about flashback you guys is that i'll show you guys pictures here if you guys don't know what that is um so that's normally like where it looks super super white um and no there is no flashback with flash so i'm gonna do it without flash let's see so no flashback, you guys. That is freaking awesome. So it passed the test on flashback. So I'm really excited. Sorry, it like literally went by so fast and it's a really short video, but I mean, I'm only doing a review on a setting powder. So overall though, I do recommend this powder 100%. I love it. I really enjoyed the way that my skin looks right now. It was really easy to use and it dusted away very, very easily. So I am actually really obsessed with this. Um, I would definitely do another review for you guys, maybe on my Instagram, like a reel, um, where I do have this powder on for like the entire day because obviously right now me wearing it, I can't tell you guys if it's gonna hold up during the summertime. Um, or just help my makeup stay. I love my Laura Mercier powder for that fact because like it does allow my makeup to, you know, it locks in my makeup so it doesn't go anywhere. Um, but with this one, I will definitely let you guys know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know, do you have this? Do you want it? What are your thoughts? I really, really wanna know. Or have you tried any of her other translucent powders? Um, let me know so I can definitely check those out as well. They do have a lot of different colors. So if you guys are interested in any of their setting powders, they are still available to purchase. This is the only one that is currently sold out. So with that to you guys, I love you so much. Take care. Besitos, and I'll catch you guys on my next video on Saturday, which you guys, it is a look that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> I'm playing with the new Be Bella collection. So you guys will see me in the same shirt. Filmed two videos in one day. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for the constant love and support, and I'll catch you guys very, very soon. Besitos. Bye.